completion. That's what I think. And we've got a lighter gray in here. We're just going to just hit a little bit and move it around some. Or wet the, wet the brush a little bit and just make it a lighter gray. Just like that. Just like that. And then we got some darker gray in here. Once we get some of these grays in, then we can start getting some of the other colors in and it'll start making more sense. So we'll put that there, like so. And then we'll put some right here, like so. Right there. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have some gray in here too. Get some more water. And we'll make this gray too. Right in here. And it should be starting to come alive a little bit. It should be starting to get a mental picture of what this is gonna look like. Hopefully. So right there. Right there. And this is gray right here also. That's the back side of the building. About there. And I think we're going to put a little bit over here, just a little bit. And some down in there. Right in here. About like so. Ducking it up a little bit. And probably going to be some more over here. Okay. Now, <coughs> let's try to get some of this other color in here. And we're going to take a bigger brush, finally. We're going to wet it. And what we want is a little bit of this Naples yellow. I'm going to pull it out over here. And a bunch of white. About like so. And what we're looking for is a sandy temple looking color. Fairly light color. It's not really dark. This whole picture is pretty... A lot of, a lot of these colors are light, so... We're going to put some in here, about like so. And we'll be coming back over that with some gray, most likely. And then we're going to uh, leave that there for the moment. And we're going to come down here. And we've got some coming out right about here. And that's going to come right up to the top, just like so. And some, something up in here, but you can't quite see it, but I'm going to put it in, right in there. It's part of a building, but you can't quite see it all. But it's there. So we need that to be there. And we'll take a little bit right here part of that shadow, shadowy color I should say. I'm just going to dab a little bit there. And then we'll put some in here. Make this line good and straight. Point that off. About like so. And we're just going to fill this temple in right about here. That. Need some more water. Nice and straight, if possible. Take your finger, go across it if you need to. Come around the doorway, right up to where the lines are here. Just bring them down. Like so. I'm pretty sure I saved this template here, so if anybody wants it, just give me a, leave me a message and let me know, and I'll, I can probably send you a copy of it. So this is the darker color. We're actually going to go with a little bit lighter color here shortly. We're just trying to fill in some of these darker ones. And that actually probably should have been a little bit browner, but we're going to go with what we got and uh, see how it looks from there. So we're going to come around here with this. 
Look at that there, where that rock is. Wipe that off. I'll come right over the top of that. Like so. And then we're actually going to kind of mix it in with this brown, this grayish color rather. So we got a little bit of that yellow in there too. About like so. And um, then we'll put some right here. About like that. Okay, and we'll get some over here. Put some right in here. Right there like that. And some in here. Like that. Wipe your finger around it, over it and kind of blend it in that way. Just like that. I think we're going to lighten it up just a little bit more over here. Like a little bit lighter. So I want to put uh, some of this lighter right here. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of the same thing up on this very top. Here's the line of it right there. Just a little bit right about there. You may need to get a little bit yellower on that because it's hard for it to show up. But we want it about there. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to put some over here. I'm kind of blend it in with this side right here. Right in that corner. And we're going to come down in with this one right here. And I think we need to actually have it a little bit probably lighter, but we'll add some white to that some more. And make this a little bit lighter in color. So just pull it down, just like so. Wipe your finger off it if, over across it if you need to. Not like so. And I think we're going to be coming a lot lighter in this area right here eventually. But I want to get some more white right here. For just a tiny bit of this. And we're going to go ahead and do the rest of this like that. We're going to lighten it up some right here. As you can see, it's a lighter color, but basically the same color. I'm going to come right around this doorway here, about like so. Just like that. All the way down. Turn your brush over. You usually get paint on both sides. If it's not flowing evenly, that means you need some more water. Put your finger down on that edge. Just like so. And get some more, get a little bit of water maybe. And we'll come over to this side, do the same thing. And it looks like the top up here is actually that same color. Very carefully just put that in. About like so. And then put this lighter color right under it, like that. Go all the way down. Like that. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and this is really going to be the same color. This is where that box is right there. And we're going to go right over that, what we put in there, that gray. We'll go over that. And then we'll come right down with just a little bit darker color. About like so. And we'll bring it right up into this. About like so. Make that more square. Wipe it down with your finger if you need to. And this here is kind of be a, a little bit of a browner color in that area right there. Let's go ahead and we'll get this one over here. 
and this is going to be the same thing, the lighter color for this building. We go to the top of that, right up to the gray, and right down. About like so. Same with this area right here. We're probably going to be going over that with another color. I'm not sure yet, but we'll look and see how it looks. And some right up in this area here. Just kind of a, a tint to it, really. And then over here, same thing. Now we can kind of straighten any lines up. If you messed them up earlier or whatever, you can straighten them up there now. There we go. Not there. And that's going to be a rock, so we, I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, so we got one area there. This is here, coming down here. That comes down to here, and we're going to want a little bit darker one. Most likely about right in here, and this little bit of a walkway like here. That's what it looks like to me, kind of a walkway of some sort. There we go. Like so. A little bit darker there. Okay. And that's actually going to be white. But we're going to bring in some of this other color too. Just to help, help it along a little bit. We'll be putting some white right over the top of that, and we'll make that one this color. Only because I really don't know what color I really wanted it to be, because I didn't do the picture. So I'm guessing. Maybe right, maybe wrong. Whatever it is, it is. Okay, so I need a little bit more gray over here but a lot lighter gray so don't forget to mix your paint make sure you keep it wet get some more white with some gray this is actually going to be really a lighter gray anyway so we need to go with that we'll do this a little bit of that lighter gray inside and it kind of goes right over to it the angles up to this way right here like that to give it depth and then we'll put it right here right in there and pull down about like so about like that beautiful and we got some lighter gray in here just a tiny bit we're going to put another cock on the top of that anyway and uh, I think we're good there let's take a look at what we got here look at your picture overall see if there's anything is missing at all and I do see we're going to be needing some some other colors in here but it's not really a gray it's gonna I think we're gonna be putting a little bit of gray here anyway but I think it really needs to be a little bit different color I'm gonna put a little bit there anyway just to get started that's gray already and I like that lighter gray here a little bit better I think we're going to change it right now. Right on that one. And this one. I'm going to put that lighter gray right there. About like so. And even up around the bells. So they'll show up a little bit better. Make them show a little bells. Kind of uh, encase them better. For better of a lack of for the lack of a better word I guess I'm trying to say. And a little bit right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just whatever you can do to make it look something like that. A little bit of grey here for the shadow. This is still all shadow in here. I will pull a little bit of this lighter grey in here too. Give it a little bit of a texture. More of a three-dimensional image, basically. Maybe a little bit right here on the rock. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll start with the dome a little bit. Let's take a little bit of this blue. 
right here. And we're going to mix a little bit of Sicilian blue in with it too. A little bit of both. Then I'm going to take some white, add that to it. And we're getting a bit darker and lighter. So I'm going to start with uh, getting some lighter on one end of it here. A lot lighter. Even lighter than that. We need that too. Some even lighter stuff. So I'm going to put a, a little bit of a lighter color here. I don't even like that. It's not lighter. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's continue on now. And um, what we need to do now is uh, take some white. We're going to fill in this area right here a little bit. So we'll get some white. More white with some more of this Naples yellow. And it's pretty light for this area right here. It's a lot lighter than the rest of it. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and fill this in real quick. And then we're going to add some more shadows in here before we're done. Because we've got some uh, shadows in here for from some steps or something. And we'll have to figure that out. Let's see if we can straighten this out where this gray is. Very lightly. Right there. Okay. And we'll come around this way. Not like so. All the way up to where them lines are. About in there. All right, we'll get a little bit more water. Get thin it out some more. We'll just go ahead and get this filled in. Put up here where you all can see it. Probably help. About right there. We'll leave that shadow in there a little bit. Kind of go with the lay of the land, so to speak. some in spots you didn't quite get earlier. A little bit more water here. More color. And we're going to fill this in. Like so. Trying to hurry so we can try to shorten this video. It wasn't meant to be this long, but it always turns out longer because I've got to run my yabber so much to try to explain so much and everything, but I just can't help it. I just like to make sure everybody's well informed as much as possible. I'm going to put a little bit of this lightness in some of these other areas here. About like so. Give it some more different colors in there some. So it's not quite all just plain. I'm feeling some of these little white gaps here and there. About like so. And you can fool with this, you know, as much as you really want to. You know, I'm trying to just get it done as soon as I can with the right information. And you can add more shadows in here and there and whatever. So I'll probably take, say, a little bit of this gray and put in some of this gray right here. Eh, I can't even get any gray so it's not wet enough. So I'll have to make some gray. I'll have to gray this up a little bit. So I want to gray it up a little bit so we can add a little bit of a gray tone here and there for these these hilly areas right here. About like so. There, a bit lighter than that maybe. Some grayer areas. Because it's, you know, it's not ever going to be that same color. 
<clears throat> so you need some shadow definition in there, here and there, showing that there are shadows and different colors in the landscape here and whatnot. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that grayish color in there, here and there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just just put some color in there so you've got something there to go by. And uh, in fact, this is probably a little bit darker right in this area here. About like so. About like that. And um, over here, this is going to be some gray that we haven't got in here yet. But we need to get a little bit more over here, though. About in here. All the way up into this way. Right into there. And this kind of comes around, basically, about like so. It actually starts up in this area more. And um, I think we're... We should have a little bit of this color up inside there too, and that's because we didn't really finish that because it wasn't quite dry enough. So let's see if we can get that done a little bit. Get some of these brushes cleaned up a little bit. I'm trying to find a small one, which I had here, and I guess we'll have to use this one. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll use this with a little bit of the gray in it. It's probably even better for here because you've got more shadows in here anyway. So we're going to whiten this up a little bit. We'll just wipe that down with our finger. Don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. And we want to get up here closer like so. There we go. Get a little bit more here. Uh, we'll get some right in here. Out to here, about like that, and we got a little bit right in here. Uh, this is dry. Hopefully, we can get it in better. My paper keeps moving on me, which is not good. Wipe that down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we get that, we put a little bit behind it right there, it don't really matter. And we've got some more coming around where this bell area was here. So we want to bring this just a little bit around this way. Shape of a bell basically, but it's kind of pointed I guess, actually. About like so. And we're going to do the same thing here. Just kind of cover up some of that gray we put in earlier. So it's kind of pointed, pointed area for the bell. The reflection of it. Put a little more here. More there. And this is going to be gray in that area there. We just didn't get to it yet. And we will. Right about now, probably. So we can get that part done. We need a little bit more over here. We still got that rock to do, too. So let's go ahead and get some more gray. We'll, take, we'll make some more gray here. Some black. And we'll make this lighter gray color here. Might be too dark. No, it's not too bad. So we'll come in here with this gray. Maybe we'll make it a tad bit lighter. Just a little bit. So we've got a difference here. We don't want it to be too gray. I'll put that like that. We need some more water. It's not enough water in it. So we'll come in like so. Just around that area. It's really not dark enough. I'm going to darken it some more. But I'm going to wait till this dries a little bit more. Too wet. Too wet. We'll go ahead and we'll put some in here anyway. 
let it dry right there then we'll come around that way with it right up to the entrance there, the doorway or whatever it is. Maybe that should be a little bit darker, I guess. There we go. Okay, pull that in some more. A little bit darker there. Darker there. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close enough. You can piddle with it some more to make it look more of a bell color. I want to get this video done so we can get it up so you guys can get doing what you need to do with it and paint it. And we need to get some more gray here, but a little bit darker up in the top, right up in here. There, let's go a little bit darker. There we go, a little bit darker. Right there, okay. Now we're going to take and make some of this brown, take some of this um, burnt sienna right here and Clean our brush off. I want to get some more white. Get a little bit of white. Make this a bit lighter color. And we're going to do the temple with that. So I want to get a little bit of a smidgen right there. And uh, got a little bit right here. We're going to have some white in there too. And we'll just bring this right down like so. And look, we'll go over the top of that with some white, most likely. Bring that out a little bit more. Right about there. Okay. And then we'll come in right up underneath here, very carefully. And come down. Like so. There we go. And we need to put some over here. And this whole area really is going to be, uh, we'll be highlighting it with some white, but we're going to paint this in. About like so. Like that. And then we'll get a little bit over here on the other side. Put some in there. Like that. Okay, and some about right here. Just the indication of it having that same color. And we're going to be coming uh, right down a little bit in here. Right there. And we're going to have that. That's going to be a bit darker right there, really, but we need to put some more in here. Like so. Like that. And this kind of comes down a little bit more. Got to get a good tip on it. Nice and sharp edge on it. So you can make sure that comes in where it should be. Right there. And right up in... Uh, this area right here, 
was a little bit in the corners. Right in there, just right there. Like that. A little bit there. And we got some over here too. Right in there. Just a little smidgen of it right there. That'll work fine. And then we want to come out here. And this part comes um, right across the top here. So we're just going to come right about here. This is where the actual edge is. Right there. About there. Right across. In fact, this comes in a little bit more that way. We'll cover that up in a few minutes. All right, now we'll go this way. Right up to the very top. We're going to highlight that with some gray. We're just going to get the, get the paint in there right now for the right color. And a little bit of water. It's a little bit too thick. So, now this is round, so you got to be careful about that. It's going to be rounded at the top, about like that. And there. And we got a little bit over here. Right over here. A little bit right in there. Okay, so we've got most of that. And let's look at the picture and make sure we don't need a little bit more somewhere. <clears throat> okay, I want to darken up a little bit of this brown a little bit. Okay, I want to darken it up. And we're going to put just a little bit of that darker right there. And we're going to do this front again just a little bit darker. Like so. A little bit darker. Just like that. And we got a little bit of a darker spot um, on the very front of this one. Right here. About like that. Right down to there. And a little bit right over here. I'm going to make this a little bit darker because I think it's in shadow. Picture doesn't show it quite that dark, but I think it should be. So I'm going to do it. Right about there. And we got a little bit of a, a little bit darker up here, I think. Right in there. A little bit darker. Not much, but a little bit. Maybe a little more right in that little bit of an area there. And kind of a touch right there. Then we've got the very top. We want to make that a little bit lighter, I think. I'll take a little bit of white. And we'll do that with the top. Just a little bit of a lighter color. It's a brownish, but it's a little bit lighter. Just like that. Maybe just a little bit more. About like that. Front's actually going to be darker. That's going to be whiter. Lightness a little bit more here, I think. And that one there, well, not quite straight down. I don't know what I was thinking. It must have been, and I wasn't even drinking. Let's <laughs> darken it up a little bit more. Just a little. Okay. That's all we need for that. And then we need to get some more lighter color. Get rid of that. It's lighter color. And it comes over here. <clears throat> we have a little bit of lighter color over in this way. A little light brown, just to kind of break it up a little bit, right there, right down into this, 
gray right there. Then we'll take a little bit more and I'm going to put some of that right about in here. A little bit lighter. The lighter colors just to give it some more color in there. About like so. And got another spot right about in over this way. But that's pretty close to the church there. So I don't know why that's that way, but for some reason it's got a bit of a brownish shadower, shadowy color in here. About like that, something like that. Maybe a little bit there. And um, right in here is kind of a brownish color. Right there. And then on the sides here we got a little bit. And right there. Not much, just a little bit, kind of a, a bumpier look. And right by this area right here, it's actually got some brown in here too. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just to add a little bit of a, a roughy color to it. I'm going to put some water on my brush here. Wipe it off. I just kind of want to spread it out a little bit. That's all. Just to change the color a little bit. That's all I want to do. Nothing fancy. Just making it that little browner color. Give a little better perspective of it. And the same with over here. I'm just barely taking a little bit, and I'm going to add a little bit of that brown in there too. I sure I think it needs to have a little bit more color. It's a little, a kind of a sandy color, I think is what it really is, but for that temple, it's old. It's really old, so we're looking for that an older color for it to make it look older. About like so. We're kind of like just playing that, playing a little bit, a little bit, trying to make it look a little bit better. Maybe a little bit in here. It's a dry brush effect almost. And uh, so I like that a lot better. So, let's go ahead. We've got another little thing over here we need to get done. And that's the bell. But we also need to touch up a little bit more white here. Just a couple of spots of it. We want to get a little bit of white there, if we can. Maybe a little bit more here and here. And we missed a little bit right here by the looks of that other color. A little more white in there. Maybe a little white there, maybe. And some more down in here. Make it show up a little better. Maybe just a little bit here and here and on this very edge. Right about here. Brighten it up a little bit more. And then we'll bring this white into here a little bit. Right in there a little more. Right there. Okay. Now we're still missing a little bit of brown. I just noticed that. So that's about right here. You know, we're missing some right here. You probably all saw that, and I didn't. You're probably all screaming at me to fill it in, and I just now figured it out. <laughs> okay. Now we can get rid of this brush for the moment. We need to get a little bit of a, a liner brush. We'll wet it. And we just need some of this Payne's Gray. Got a bunch of it really probably. A little bit more water. Just a tiny little bit. So you want to make it flow really good. We got to paint these little bells. Okay, and these little bells. Liner brush ought to do it pretty well. Probably not enough water because it's not flowing very well.
like so. Okay. Can actually put a few details in with this if you really want to. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush, and now what I want to do is I want to get some paint. I want to get a good bunch of white paint out here, but I want to get some more water in it because we've got to do some really fine lines around this up top here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to come a little bit of a roundy thing like that. And then we'll follow the line and come about the same way, like so. And that actually is supposed to go that way, to there. And then we're going to go right around the very tops here, about like so. And we're going to come this way, same way. A little bit higher than I should have went. But it'll have to do. About there. We have a little line right about there. And then we'll follow this around like so. And then we'll go this way. With it like that. And over here. About like so. And we'll probably put one up on the very tops here, like that, one there, one there. And in fact, this actually does go all the way across, but like so. And you might as well just let it head over that way a little bit. And this one comes this way. And that way, we'll do that again, make it a little bit more visible, a little more visible, just like that. You can piddle with it all you want to, and if you mess it up like that, you can just go over it with the other color and fix that, no problem. Same thing with down here. We're going to actually just kind of uh, go like this around the bell like that and the same thing over here over here like so and then we can put a little line there and a little line here not like that all right then we got the cross on top it's going to be gray. We can find some gray. If you have to make some more gray, we have to. Gray. A little bit more white in that. Okay, so we got two crosses. And we're just going to put one here. I think we want to make that a little bit darker. Can't see it very well. So we'll go like this. Like this. All the way down to the dome. It's not quite wet enough. Wet it some more. That's going to be one of the most obvious things that you see, so you want to make sure it's Somewhere close to right, about like so. And I think we'll call that a finished painting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign my name with a little bit of this blue here. Choose a little blue, a little more water, and I'll sign it right here.